Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Bungle Collects. There's me, Bungle, Lady M and Walter who's with us. I'm going to go through some 50 pences and hopefully find some rare and valuable ones. You can find them in your change as well. Um, hopefully they're worth a few quid and we'll finally find a football or a Q Gans to finish our album. So we'll just wait for Lady M to get her button into gear and actually pick up the, pick up the coins. Some kind of signal. Oh, oh, what do you want the signal to be? Oh, too late. Now you've missed your cue. Oh, well, I'm not sure there was a signal. And remember, we're recorded now. You know, so I can't, like, go, mm, you know, mm. like, make that kind of noise to say, <laughs> get the, uh, or a wink to say, get the uh, get the coins out, lady. Mm. So you just have to, you just have to. You could just say, want to grab the bag? Well, I could, like. Yeah. yeah, I could. I'll consider it. Okay. I'll put it in advisement, put it, fill a chitty in yeah. and put it through to the uh, Bungle Collects Coins uh, staff suggestion scheme right. and, I will, and, I, and I will consider it. Right, this is a hair dock bag from the 5th of May 21, so it's been hanging around in the in the bank for a, a little while. 15.55, 50 pences, lots of fives there. Let's hope it's a F, a five for football. Mm. We've been watching many other channels produce a football from from the depths of the cash centres. You know, Grossi's found one, Christopher's found one, and Absolute Coins has found one in the last week or so. So I think we all know that these things come in folds and it's about time that we found a football because we've never ever found one. Big thank you to everybody who's trolled me in my uh, comments, Instagram, Facebook, like Messenger as well, um, Twitter, and via email, because Christopher very kindly asked everybody to, or people to message me just to rub it in the fact that he found a football and we didn't have one. So a big thank you to all you guys who give us a bit of ribbon there. All good, all good fun of course. And ho I'm hoping, That's the first find. I'm really hoping, Lady Anne, that the, 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 the look, the look of the coin tuber verse mm. is with us. Right, we've got a 2017 here, it's going to be a potter. It's Frog Boy, it's Jeremy Toad Boy. He's going to go down here on the left hand side where all the 2017 coins go. If you're new, then you won't necessarily know about the 2017s that go down that corner. You might not know about Paddington Corner, that's Paddington at the Tower, and the four Paddingtons sit nicely in this corner. If we find any Benjamin Bunnies, we have a guess and they go along the, the top there. Plum finds go across the, the bungles, the bungle name. And everything else goes in the middle. But we'll tell you if we find anything valuable and roughly what it might be worth. And if you find a football, then, well, you'll probably be able to hear us from your house mm -hmm. or from our house, from the Magic Studio, I should say, because we have been looking for football for, what, getting on for? I can actually pick these, put these blooming coins in my pocket. Forever. Uh, anything, yeah, from, from day one. Never, ever, never, ever found one. Let's see how we get on. Let's see if Walter can bring us. Oh, is it Commonwealth Games uh, England? Maybe he's coming. Yeah, well, it would if it was a two pound. Right, come on, diversity. You're not that interested anymore with over 10 million. There we go. Let's, uh, yeah, we've got, looks looks like St. George's Cross. Although it's wrong, isn't it? St. George's Cross is red with a white, white background. background. Oh, it's on both sides. That's quite cool. Oh, wow. Anybody know, anybody claiming this? Anybody done a, done a white stripe, a white cross? Along a, a 1998 Britannia, let us know. Keeping, uh, keeping that one. Putting that in the plum fine because it's a, it's a top of the pop so far. Squirrel nutkin. Squirrel, stick squirrel, squirrel, squid squirrel. <laughs> stick squirrel in the plum fine yeah. section. Five million mintage is squirrel. So not super rare, but not particularly common. Can't be scarce. And it can be worth a pound or more. So squirrel is a is a keeper, a keeper keeper keep the squirrels, squirrel them away if you like, oh. into into my collection. Oh, there's a shiny. I've got a shiny Britannia there, two thousand and four. Tom kitten, to the Potter set. Halfway through the two thousand seventeen Potter set already. There was a time that we filled that every week, and then it, it died off a bit, and it seems to be coming back a little bit over yeah. recent weeks. What's the time that we found Puddle Ducks with relative frequency? I mean, it is relative because Puddle Ducks rare and WWF, but we haven't found them for ages. No. I was going through my coin collection yesterday. I'm a good, a good tidy out. Took me all, took me all day. 
but not tidy out like a reorganisation. There's Peter Rabbit, the Run Rabbit 2017, just Benji Bunny now. Mm. And he's full. So yes, I had a good sort out yesterday of my coins, a re rearranging of coins. And uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Brexit. We've got the Brexit set, diversity and Brexit from 2020. Do like a good mini set. Oh, I can't remember what I was going to say. What was I talking about before then? Sorting your coins out. Yeah, what I say immediately before, which got me to sort my coins out. There's another Paddington at the tower. Oh, it's uh, probably. Uh, I don't know. I can only imagine it must have been this. I haven't found a puddle duck or a WWF for ages. Oh, yeah, you, would, you did mention WWF. Yeah, so I was going through. Going through my keepers, and it really has been ages, hasn't it? Mm -hmm. I can't even remember the last time we uh, we got one. Mm. But not as long as football, obviously. Thank you. Looking for the low minted shield as well, and the not intended for circulation shields. It's got to be our. It's got to be our turn, we haven't found one for ages. Since about May. Oh yeah, blum and scarce. But we found four this year, 2021 of, of oh, there's a nice one. That is a definite plum. Not that 1997 Britannia. This tittle mouse. So tittle mouse, is it one? Yeah, it's been a while since we've found a tittle mouse. I think it's 1.9 million of Mrs. Tittle Mouse has made in 2018. Part of the Beatrice Potter set. Definitely a gold find. Top of the pops, worth about three quid, I reckon. Is another one, 2018? Or is it just a paper lack? Oh, it's a tailor of Gloucester. Oh, very nice. Very nice indeed. I, th I think stick him on the plums. Yeah. You know, but will be, it'd be nice to get the 2018 Potter set complete, although it is uh, it is quite hard because the other two, Flopsy and Peter, yeah. 1.4 million. Forgot what I was, I forgot what I was saying again. Hopefully it'll, uh, hopefully it'll come back to me. Oh, not intended for circulations. So yes, yeah, so Christopher seems to have uh, sparked off a, a little bit of a challenge for how many NIFCs you can find in 2021. So we found four. He's found three so far. He's claiming that I found two and Lady M found two. So that's only we're only on two each. But of course, we all know that's a, that's nonsense, and it's all about the channel finds. Not that bother. It's only a bit of fun, Christopher. Honestly. <laughs> so yeah, it's been May since we last found any. And to be honest, it's absolutely amazing that you find any at all and not intended for circulation. So we yes. found a, a two pound coin that shouldn't have been circulated. Uh, what else did we find? We found a. I've yeah, found many Sherlock's. I can't remember what they are off the top of my head. But anyway, they are coins that should not necessarily be in circulation. Coins that were being in collector's packs or annual set bunk packs and they've been ripped out and spent. Uh, is this our first bunny? Yes, it is. There's Benji. So if you find a Benji, you're looking for his signature across his face. Sign and put him back. Coin patrol edge inscription. And then you have a spin round to see whether the queen's facing the other way, which she isn't. Right, that's the first one, and that is going to be the only one, Lady M. Right. The only one that we're going to find in this coin hunt. Well, I'm going to go with three. Three? Well. Because it's number two. Oh, you, you must have known that. Well, I need a no, re-go I then. I absolutely did not. No, you definitely knew I that was coming. I didn't even open the bag when you said it. Yeah, yeah, you've, you've seen it in the bag. You can't just you, you can't just uh. claim three, and then because you've seen the second one. So I'll, I'm going to have a re-guess. Mm. Right, I'm going to say... <laughs> I'm gonna say I'm gonna say two then. Right. All right, that's okay. that's my that's my regress as you've have you've cheated me. Mm -hmm. Right, he's a 2017. It doesn't have 50 pence on this side. It's got 50 pence on the other side. It's got a flat top, so it will be a shield. So that is a low minted shield. 1.8 million of them. It could have almost been an Isaac Newton. The points ever so slightly different on an Isaac Newton, and that would be worth. I don't know. That's worth about. I reckon about a quid. The shield, Isaac Newton, three or four pound. And it's also one of my favourite looking coins. Right, is this another Potter? No, it's Paddington waving his flag. So we've got two out of the four Paddington's three. corners. Yes. 
Oh, dear. Super. Did you? Oops. Did you check for edge inscriptions? Did you check for rotations? No, I'm too excited because I'm winning. Right. <clears throat> Anyhow. Not that that matters, of course. No, just a bit of fun, lady. Yeah, yeah. It's another uh, Brexit. I can't believe you're that bothered. Well, I'm not. All is fun in love and coin hunting. Oh, if we do get any any Olympics as well, because we we, do, we only need football to complete mm -hmm. the album. So we're assuming that the Kew Gardens is a not exactly a dead cert. If we do get any spares, then they'll go in our our chain checker albums. Yeah. I've also got another album as well when I do these solo coin hunts on Sundays. If I've got some spare coins, as the Sherlock Holmes. There's still need plenty of Olympics in there. Yeah, oh, it's already across the medals. There's a little, something a little bit different. I was thinking as well, um, you know, the what did they do? Badges for Christmas. So, mm -hmm. bung, Bungo Collect badges. Mm -hmm. And we haven't quite decided on the what the badges are going to be. <coughs> Excuse me. But I was thinking, we, we saw the badges. I think it was, was it five quid last year. I can't remember. I think with uh, with postage, I haven't priced them up this year. But I was thinking about uh, signed Benjamin bunnies and including a signed Benjamin bunny with the uh, oh people act. We're not far off the uh, all the 2018s. Like although I don't think we're going to find it in this last bag. Okay. So yes, I was thinking about putting a, a signed Benjamin bunny in because on the members live stream last week we stumbled thanks to Keith Elric. We stumbled on a new way of signing the coins. Whereas we both signed the same coin. So it's just a bit of fun. Yeah. Coin signing. Oh, Lady M, you bust. But I was thinking, basically, it's a Benjamin Bunny with a bungle and a Lady M uh, on the same coin. It looks, it, looks kind of, uh, it looks kind of cool. So I was thinking about if we do sell badges this year, whether we'd uh, in, in, include a, a signed Benjamin Bunny or not. Let us know if you're interested in buying some badges and uh, having a, an exclusive Benjamin Bunny with both our, both our names on. Obviously, it doesn't. It's not worth anything. It's just, a, it's just, it's just a bit of fun. Um, so yeah, let us know in the comments. Well, I think we're a little bit spoiled for choice. I think for mm -hmm. um, for plum finds, the Benjamin Bunny. We're gonna. There's been no winners this week because we both bust. That's um, clearly part of the part of part of the uh, of the rules, and also because there's four bunnies, and we'll now need to if 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 we do sell badges, then and do include one in a badge, then. We'll need blank ones to sign with the exclusive mm. Bungle and Lady M on. So they, they won't just go into circulation. You'd have to get them, you know, to make them a little bit exclusive. Right. And um, so, so yes, we would need, last year, I think we still, we had 20 sets, I think. So we'd need 20 Benji bunnies without any signatures on. So mm. I think if we bust, that's the way of, of getting them so they're ready, should they be ready for the badges. So that's a long, long way around of telling you that, unfortunately... It's a no. It's a no score draw. Mm. Right, plum finds. Let's uh, let's see what we've got. I'm going to kick back the two thousand. I'll give an honorary mention the two thousand and seventeen shield. I've got a few of them. They're my retirement plan. But was all we need to do. All we need to do thumbnails. Don't forget the thumbnails. But let's go through. So we've got. I think it's got to be Tittle Mouse, hasn't it? It's got to be Tittle Mouse um, because it's a lower mintage than Taylor or Gloucester, and a lower mintage of Squirrel Nutkin. And I really do like this. If anyone knows anything, or does anybody sign there? Uh, their coins with tip X and put a shield on. I'm going to keep that in the. I'll put that in the in the album. Right. What? So we'll use that for the for the thumbnail. Eh? Okay. Tail. Are you happy with Tittle Mouse? Tittle, yeah. As a as a as a thumb. Tail of a, the Potters. Tail of the Potters. So are you happy with a? Are you, are you happy with the Tittle Mouse as a plum fine? Mhm. Mm yeah. Funny, no one's no one's mentioned the uh, no one's mentioned the hat. Anyhow, right. So there we go. So smile for the thumbnail, Lady M. I thought as well, the thumbnail. I wonder whether, you know, you could get like lists of emotions. Mm -hmm. So like amazed, bedazzled, sad, angry. Right. We should maybe have a list of them. I, I'm confused at why bedazzled was like second on your list. It just popped into my head. Right. But I thought if we have the... Can you show me your bedazzled? No, that's, that's what I'm saying. So again, so if you have a list, because you can get a list of like emotions, can't you? Mm. And then we could do a different one every every episode. Right. So we could say, right, okay, which one we're going to pick, right? This this week is going to be angry. So, so. I, I suggest oh, that people a... put in the comments from the video 
the week before. Oh, that's a good idea. And then we pick one. Right, okay. So what emotion <laughs> do you want us to be in the, or, or to in express? The so I, I was going to say angry, I was like, that might be more aggressive, might you? Like, no. um, and before Andy Green starts, we don't want, we, I don't want like horny or <laughs> anything like that in, please. You know, it's, a, it's got to be something that we can actually show on camera. You know, so so before before you start, and Rich H, before you start as well, and Michael Peck over, you know, this is it, it's it's a family show, hmm, sort of. So yeah, anyway, so that's a good idea that yeah. So what was so that one was just a that one was just for free, a smiley like a a smiley one, and you know, right. anyway. And I'm really sorry for Lady M that you lost the Benjamin Bunny challenge. Right. So close, mm -hmm. but so far. Right. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.